Shall we tour? Shall we tour? Shall we tour? Shall we talk? Mall Tour 2021 officially wrapped up last year with its final stop in the Meriden Mall, but before that, uh, a couple stops before that, but also after the main Mall Tour, which I talked about last time, was this big guy here. How we doing, everybody? This is Bobby Gaines uh, from Bobby Productions, here to talk about, of course, the home stretch from Mall Tour 2021, and technically the Mall Tour is over. Now, I know that I already did um, confirm the fact that we are indeed going to Mall of America this year to wrap up the Mall Tour. But for all intents and purposes, the regular mall tour as it is, is over in terms of just like going to malls, being random and kooky. Like we're going to plan that one last trip and that is going to count. But uh, the finale for mall tour 2021, of course, already happened. So when I refer to the home stretch, I'm kind of just talking about those last three malls that I didn't get to talk about in my previous videos. So the big one, of course, well, I'm watching it right now. Uh, King of Prussia, which I happen to have the honor of hitting with my friends John Lee, Trevor, and Aisley. Uh, the fourth time that that um, trio and I took a trip, but this was a huge mall, uh, third largest in the country, right on par with American Dream, which of course was the big one in New Jersey, and this was another just fantastic stop. Uh, more than the mall itself, though, uh, John Lee and I spent a great night over with our friends Trevor Naisley, uh, playing video games, cruising, Super Monkey Ball. Um, oh, the video paused itself. You know, I actually don't script these, as you can tell. Like, I mean, I kind of know what I'm going to say, but I don't know everything I'm going to say. But, um, King of Prussia Mall was fantastic. I will say American Dream, I think, beat it by, well, I would say more than a little bit. Only because, and King of Prussia was a very nice mall, but only because King of Prussia had, you know, for as many stores as it had, and it had, like, a, more than, like, 400, uh, a lot of those stores, as I mentioned in the video, were like Alfani or Gucci or, you know, it's just stuff that I'm never going to be able to afford. But it was still nice to see it, uh, especially at night. The mall took on a really nice just lighting pattern. Funny enough, I actually bought something in the first store that I went into, which is the Sonic controller holder that sits somewhere in this area here. Not on camera, but um, what was on camera was about 35 minutes of epic mall touring. Um, yet another just ridiculous journey, you know. This being the last stretch of the mall tour, and I kind of advertised 2021 as the final stretch of the mall tour. Like, I was able to really kind of just let loose with a lot of my stuff. Like, most of my mall tours are maybe like, I don't know, 15 minutes, 20 minutes at the longest. Like, we had like three mall tours this season that topped 30 minutes. And we had, of course, the um, American Dream Mall, which topped like 40 minutes. Like, and I could have done more. Like, there was a ton of video from all those mall tours, because why not? Like, I knew this was my last season. I knew I was going in for it. Um, it's actually kind of a shame that I only now introduced the Shall We Tour mantra that was only a slogan that I came up with in 2020, because, um, you know, that, how much more iconic would that have been if I had said it on every single mall tour? But as it is, I got to use it on about, uh, 24 mall tours, because that's how many we went on, <laughs> believe it or not. Or was it 23? I think it was 23. It was 23. 13 mall tours in 2020, and then another 10 in 2021, including this monolith right here, the King of Prussia Mall. And, you know, if it seems like I'm at a loss of words, if it seems like I'm at a loss for words, it's because I am. It's because I've been to so many of these big malls now, you know, whether it was Destiny USA back in 2017, Palisades, the four or five times I've hit it, uh, American Dream in the summer of 2021, and then again going to this mall. It was awesome, but I mean, you know, there's only so many times I can be smacked in the face with a giant mall and still have the same reaction. But we're going to see that again <laughs> later this year. But anyway, trying to stay on topic here. The home stretch, um, and the other mall that I'm going to mention real quick, Rockaway Town Square Mall, was actually not even intended to be in the mall tour. It was just kind of an idea that John and I had the day after because it was in the area. It was kind of on the way back from New Jersey to Connecticut. So we checked it out. Actually, a really nice mall. Um, slots in nicely with some of those early malls of the 2021 era, like the Poughkeepsie Galleria, other ones like that, the Queen's Place Mall, like things that I wasn't necessarily like, oh, I gotta see that, but it was still really nice to see it anyway, and again, like I said, it's my last season, so I'm just gonna kind of go for it, you know, there it is, it's on the way back, there's not a next time, so uh, we checked it out that time, and um, Meriden Mall, of course, holds a tremendous amount of significance to me, I thought it was only fitting that I end the calendar year with that one, and, you know, kind of teased it as like a finale of sorts, going full circle back to the mall that I started at way back in 2009 with my friend Amanda Marino at the time. Um, it, that video, I think, was like maybe six or seven minutes long. It just goes to show you how far I've come. It was a very short video, but it was also a very small mall, and it still is. Uh, Meriden Square Mall, as it was called at the time, would later be called uh, Westfield Meriden when I went to visit it again in 2017. 
And for this final time, it's just called Meriden Mall. They've just, you know, gotten rid of any other nomenclature. It's just the Meriden Mall in Meriden. So it was fun to go back to this mall. Um, it almost seemed fitting that on our final journey there, um, we ran in with the security again because that's something that happened in the 2017 journey. I don't think it happened in 2009. Quite frankly, we weren't there long enough for it to. But um, the, the whole thing in 2021, though, just like the the what do you call it, the mall cop guy or whatever, is like somehow catching a glimpse of my phone over his head, because that's how I film most of these is on my phone. And just being like, oh, what are you filming? It's like, oh, you can't do that. And then there's that whole like humorous sketch of John Lee in the elevator being like, let me tell you something. Oh, is he watching? No, never mind. Like, it just was like, it, it almost made sense. I'd be more mad if it was like earlier in the mall tour, but it was the last tour of the year. I'm like, you know what? It was the last tour of the year, and we were also like at the end of it anyway. Like, Meriden Mall, no offense, Meriden, but it's nothing special. It's, you know... A few corridors, about, I don't know, 60 stores, and some of them weren't even open. So, I mean, it, it was nice for what it was. It was a nice little trip down memory lane. It was decorated for the holidays, which is what I really came there to see. So, you know, I wanted to talk about this because now, you know, 2022's gotten started. And, you know, it's only a matter of time before things keep going and whatever. We lose track of time. But um, I wanted to make sure that I got, I got this in. You know, there's the Shall We Tour series or the Shall We Talk series, this little mini-series I'm doing. I wanted to make sure that I kind of talked about these things while they're still relatively fresh. Of course, you know, this small tour took place at the end of November. The King of Prussia one took place at the end of October. So, you know, some time has passed already. But given that, I still remember it pretty vividly. It wasn't that long ago. But I really appreciate everybody who made this possible. Uh, John Lee, all the, all the times you've driven. Um, you know, hopefully that's over because, well, we'll see what happens with Minnesota. But... Hopefully that's over for you now. Your car can rest. And uh, Trevor and Aisley letting us stay over the night and the weekend. That was really awesome. And uh, Trevor and Aisley are also on a lot of mall tours too. I mean, really, they were on like five of them going back to 2020. So appreciate that as always. I always say it's the people that make the mall tours. And, you know, I've had some great ones through the years, not just this year, but through the years. There's always been a companion or two to make the trip extra special. And I'm very excited for what the future has to hold, that's going to be a separate video. I uh, just wanted to, again, address this, you know, whether it was going to Maine to see Krista, going, you know, to Queens for the first time, seeing those malls, um, Poughkeepsie Galleria, Crossgates, all the way down the line. A lot of New York-focused ones in this final stretch, uh, New Jersey, too. But whatever it was, you know, this last stretch of the mall tour provided exactly what I wanted it to, and maybe I haven't talked about it as much for a variety of reasons, but... Kind of going back to that whole, you know, it's my last season thing. I, I feel like that the time for reflections will be forever. So, you know, I'm not really reflecting on it now as it happens. I'm just kind of staying in the moment. But there will come a time, most likely, and you guys know me, where I'll kind of think about the mall tours of the past and talk about them and all that stuff. And then that'll be great. But for right now, you know, I'm still kind of, I'm still in it to win it for one more run. And uh, I'm very excited about what we've already accomplished and even more excited about what's still to come. So thank you guys for watching so much. Subscribe today to Buy Productions if you haven't already. Shall we uh, get on with it? Hey,